Welcome back to David, everybody. So, it's about that time we fight the lunatic cultist and his goons afterwards. Too bad he's not here, right? Alright, let's do this. We're gonna spawn point. Back to the dungeon. Alright. You motherfuckers think I'm playing around, huh? Especially you. You think I'm playing around. Mm -mm. Give me all those free hits. That's bullshit. He's, up, he's inside. Give me the power, Autismo. Give me the power I need for this fight. Let's do it. Didn't mean to eat that. Give me the power, David. Give me the power. This fight should be like very easy, honestly. <laughs> Fuck him up. <clears throat> Summon in your fucking phantasm. Shit, this dude almost dead as hell. Alright. No, no, no. Summon in our stuff again. And let's go wingman for us to fight. Check out the wingman. Phase 2. We're gonna be finding this guy a lot. This is, uh, this should be no. We're gonna be finding this guy a lot. But the thing is about finding him a lot. As soon as we start it, these motherfuckers invade us. Shit, dude, that guy's in my... Alright, whatever. Meld blob. This is what I'm talking about right here. Do you think we can just use these meld blobs that we got to make meldiate? Well, obviously we can make meldiate with it, but can we use it to make the tracers? Yes, we can. That's more than enough to make the tracers. Fuck yeah. Right? How many is it per blob? Shit, yeah, that's way more than enough. And we got the ancient matter manipulator and lightning sphere beyond the forgotten ages. I'm guessing it's just like the magnet sphere. Shit, more stuff I can summon and throw at people? Hell yeah. I'm always down for that. Uh, let's throw that in there. And then we got zero weapon. Oh, we got a treasure bag. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. Look at all these. Ancient spark. These are all from Thorium. Godly ancient frost. Ancient flame. Ancient spark. We're getting, we're getting magical up in this bitch. Alright, let's put all that in there. Let's... Uh, oh, sorry. Let's try and make some uh, Meldiate here. Let's throw the Ancient Matter Manipulate. Wait, what is this combined with? Do I have... Ooh, Dradon's Forge? I can't make that. Because I don't have Endothermic or Nightmare. Ancient, Contraption, Pillar Gatherer. That'd probably be useful as fuck. Do I have everything to make this? I do have everything... No, wait. It's from Fargo's. Shit. <laughs> I do have everything, but it's all on... Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all these and then reverse craft them with a uh, cheat sheet. Didn't cheat sheet change or something? No, it's the same. Because there was an update for it, and there's rarely updates for cheat sheet. But I'm going to reverse craft everything that I need. Auto forge. Is that it? I need a cold cooking pot, a keg... Let me make that cook. Give me one of those. This is going to clear up a lot of space in here. Let's move all this shit down then. Uh, keg. Huh? No keg? I can't make a keg? Oh, I guess I don't have the stuff in there to make a keg. What about now? This? Keg? Oh, it's a sawmill. There you go. Boom. What's other things I need? Loom, sawmill. Yeah, we got everything. Oh no, we need a blendomatic. Which we get that from uh that one girl. Can I make a blendomatic? Bull blend. No, we can't. Blee. Alright. Let's head to spawn. We're gonna have to do some fighting if we head to spawn. Psych! That's <laughs> Alright. So we got a lot of weapons here. <laughs> And I do want to use all of them, but we did everything. Everything's reverse crafted. And we're using the uh, Shadow Extractor, aka Demon Altar. Uh, is it crafted? What the fuck's the name of the thing? Cosmos? Cosmos. Crucible of the Cosmos. Boom. Now we can craft pretty much everything that we need to. Is there a crystal ball in here? I had to buy another crystal ball because I don't know where mine is. There it is. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, potions. Fuck. We don't have potions. I need to kill the Clothier. Cloth. 
All right, so we need to kill some of these uh, altars here. But yeah, let's peep some of these weapons. Let's get a good reforge on all of them first. Lightning spear. Hit me with a crazy reforge. Hit me with a... Godly, I'll take it. Boom. Furious ancient lightning. Now we're gonna we're gonna keep that how that is. Uh, what's this called? Ancient spark. Why do I say furious on this? I always do that. I always say the reforge like it's a part of the name. Deadly? Now nah, we can get better. We can get better. Hit me with one of those mythicals. Mythical. 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 Masterful works. Oh. Is this like a giant magnet sphere? Oh my god. Just getting a whole lot of weapons and summon things. Godly? We'll take a godly. Uh, summons multiple beams of volatile heat. Ooh. Everything just says just fucking summons. Let's drop everything down. And move all of these babies up. All of them. And let's see how this shit works. So, how we want to do this here? I think we should go... Alright, we'll go test it out. I really don't want to get rid of that that thing but i need to take a different angle if i do so we're gonna do this instead what's up boys you know your boy david's here your boy david is here to do some work this shit should get pretty pretty intense romeo coming through great man right there great man oh i should have made the seraph tracers once i get those seraph tracers shit's gonna be over shit is gonna be over i'm telling you guys Okay, um, oh shit, there's a little health bar. That's so fucking dope. That helps so much having that little health bar. So there's a weapon from uh, Juice, the treasure goblin, and the weapon pretty much does this. Near similar to it. And we never got it. <laughs> Even though I've killed so many of them. Sorry if it gets loud. I'm noticing that the fucking audio gets like really loud when I start like summoning in all my beams and shit. All my, uh, all my magic attacks that are summoning there, can there be like more enemies but i'll stay here I'll, I'll stay near the top there's more enemies there's still enemies down there too so that helps i really like the health bar though so we have to kill 150 and we're killing of course the nebula one why would i not kill the nebula one first it only makes sense place this here get these up here 50th brain sucker already no back in my day they said I was a great brain sucker. I, don't, I never knew what that meant, but <laughs> I felt like it was a good compliment. So you know, I was like, "Thank you." But I'm gonna, I'm to the, later today, after this episode, I'm gonna go search for a brain sucker. And they're like, "Hey, gamer, you're a really good brain sucker." I'm like, thanks. I appreciate it, man. And they're like, "All right, yeah." It wasn't a compliment. Well, I know it's not a compliment, so it must be like a, a an appraisal, right? Like a praise, praised. They're praising. Is that a compliment? Still, whatever. Can we just <laughs> let's just finish this uh, pillar here. So wh what else I plan to do is probably make some enchantments this episode too. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This motherfucker got a lot of help. Summon, summon, activate, and they get this shit popping off. Look at all these summons, boy whole lot of fighting I don't gotta do and all I gotta do is just like resummon every now and then resummon every now and then throw a little bit of my attacks in there and yeah I can pretty much just do this playthrough without actually like having to fight honestly we're gonna fuck this pillar up come on open it up suck on that shit boy he's not doing that much damage Alright, that we should get damage up per pillar we kill, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty good. If y'all wanna cough up more meld blobs, I'm down for it. That boy got fucked up. Alright. Come on, cough up. All the meld blobs. Okay. Should be good on that. Of course you gotta suck these in. And we got uh, the bard stuff, which I don't think is gonna matter too much. Same thing with the celestial stuff. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see if there's anything I can use these for. No. Probably not. <laughs> Probably nothing for the bard either. Damn, that shit looks cool. Can't wait to do that playthrough. Alright. Let's head back home. 
There's a nebula one down. Uh, we're gonna just sell this stuff. There you go. This dude gets like nothing new to sell. Put that away. I'm out of space again. I've been placing them out here. Eh. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Eh. That's how you know it worked. How much space is in here? Six. We still got a whole fucking like 140. So I think we're good. I'm sure I always favorite the crystal ball. Alright, so. So it's in here. That's not what I meant. Okay. Let's just see. Let's see what we can make. I'm pretty. I'm pretty hyped for this. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty hyped, guys. Corrosive flash. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can make a magic one too. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I don't know if it's worth my uh, stuff right now though. But let's see here. Of course, the armor is gonna be what we want to get later. Pickaxe. We have to get that later too. Sorry, I had to think about that. Uh, Arcanum. Great weapon. Same thing with the blaze. Great weapon. Uh, but what is something we get now? Permanently increased mana by 100. Ooh. That would be pretty fucking good, but I can't make it currently. We can make the Arc Amaryllis. Nuclear Fury. Boy, well, how come we never made the other Nuclear Fury? Oh, I never. Okay. Well, <laughs> I clicked it once. Nuclear Fury. How come we never made the one from, what is it, Thorium? Oh, because I never had... No, I did get Unicorn Horns. I remember it. Yeah, look. So, let's make both Nuclear Furies if we can. Let's get both the Typhoons. That is not a Typhoon. Let's get both the Typhoons. Throw them in here. Boom. Throw that in there. Meld Blob, so it's in there. Nuke. Yeah, we can't make both. Let's make this one. We're just going to make one for now. And I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're, we're going to get rid of these. These are my weapons that have been doing the work, too. We're going to get rid of them. What else, the, what else do I get rid of? I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to get rid of anything else. I'm feeling all these weapons right now. All right, let's. We got to go do it. We got to go take on this, this pillar right here. This pillar. Fuck, dude. Are they already summoning in? They're gonna kill my NPCs. No, we gotta do it this way. <laughs> we gotta do it this way. What do I always think? Alright. That's how we're gonna do it. No, I have the fucking dragon. That's not who I want. Give me my dude back. Where's my dude? Where's my dude? The fuck yeah, I don't want this dragon anymore. Hold up. Alright, vortex pillar. Let's make sure it's away from my uh, NPCs. That's really all I care about. I don't want my my beautiful NPCs being harmed. Except for you. I don't really care if you die. You, you served your purpose. I'm kidding. Don't die. Place the place the stuff on him. Place the stuff on him. Don't let him die. Okay. Let's use this. Nuclear Fury. Pretty sure this has gone through a bunch of uh not a bunch, but it's changed since I last used it in the last mage playthrough we did. And it looks cool. Because last time I think it was just like bubbles. But now, it's little bubbles. Are those bubbles? Homing cosmic energy. Now, nah, they say homing cosmic energy. That's bubbles, boys. No, not Porcini. Porcini RIP. You are such, such value. Okay, I shouldn't go that way. Stay away from the NPCs. Stay away from the NPCs until the pillar is open. Even then, I think I'm just going to place my summons next to the pillar and see how that goes. I'm liking these weapons a lot. <laughs> I might replace. Let's well, see how strong this is. Cause look, this hits multiple things with one hit, right? Kind of like, yeah, it does. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the Terra Staff for this, for uh, the Ancient Spark, and then keep the Wrath of the Ancients. Cause the Wrath of the Ancients is still really good, very good. All right. the pillar at there get that motherfucker look at that. oh my god destroyed it i destroyed it this staff i'm not feeling this one that much it's got potential to be good it just doesn't just, eh. Eh. you're overwhelmed with pain obviously not i'm perfectly fine don't lie to me game you lying piece of shit sorry is that rude 
this pillar stuff just, like feels way faster like I'm, i don't actually feel bored doing the pillar stuff because i'm actually able to see like the, our progress <laughs> at that current time so is that more pillars dead i didn't mean that i wanted todd or trash but i didn't mean to do it like that okay let's go talk to uh <clears throat> well we're gonna pay the little clue the visit first and we're gonna talk to a fisherman hey what's up man well which what's, what's popping caught in the ocean um you about to catch these hands if you make me catch this fish again I'm tired of catching that fucking captain tuna beard even though i don't even catch it that's the worst part I'm tired of something that I, I i'm not even doing get a get a platinum coin get a platinum coin turn it to 100 gold and let's let's craft this captain tuna beard here you go here's your fucking fish He's your fucking fish. Thanks for this stuff. Just throw that away. Throw it away, deposit. And let's let's go ahead and talk to my boy down here. Hey, um, you know, I never come down here to visit you. You got anything cool on you? Oh shit, solar cultist rose. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> our, uh, our work here is done. So I think what I'm going to do is off camera i'm gonna kill the rest of the pillars and then uh just die or exit the game before the moon lord comes in just so i can do all the pillars again because i want to gather up as much nebula stuff as i can just because you know why, why not it's a part of our mage class and it'd be good if we got a bunch can we like get a good oh ruthless was good i'll take that that's pretty good too all right, um, so I made the other nuclear for you, though. That one, the calamity one. And let's just, real quick, we're gonna make the Seraph Tracers. Seraph Tracers. Seraph, I don't know why I'm typing it in. Like, I can just, like, make it right now. Meldiate bars. Can I make life bars? I don't remember how to make them. Life. L-I-F-E. No, there's no life bars I can make. Ooh. I can make that. I can make that. I can make those health things, too. I'll make that next episode. This episode, just want to focus on this. Focus on uh, killing the cultists and little things. Let's type in uh, Seraph. No. Fuck Seraph. Let's type in life. Life bars. So we need all those bars. Oh, we can't make life bars. I just need five of them. I think five of them for now. And then let's do Seraph. Now let's type in Seraph. Five five and then we need core of calamity. Core. I think we should be able to make these really easily too. We can make one. I need a lot more than one, so let's craft this is. Boom boom. Boom boom. What do I have the least of? I have a lot of everything. <laughs> Fuck, that's one more. Okay. Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. Wait, how the fuck do you make those? Oh, you just need the bars? Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, there's that. Three of them. Now we need angel treads. Of course I have angel treads. And we need wings. Obviously, I don't have wings. I do have that warding soul. Uh, which we do need to get rid of. Throw that. Oh. Actually, yeah. Throw everything in here. Throw that in there, too. And there should be wings in here. I'm positive. Yeah, there's a good bit. I don't care which one it uses. I don't care. Seraph, can I make it? Hey, there we go. And it used the uh, fish ones. That's actually, if I ha if I were to have a choice, I'd choose the fish ones. So let's reforge this. I'm very sorry, whoever I hit up there. Boom. There's our wings right there. Seraph tracer. They fly for a decent amount of time. And now we have an extra space here, which I will just throw something in for now until we get something else. But let's fight a boss real quick. Uh, it's like a shop. Can I just fight the lunatic cultist straight up? I'm talking really fast. Can I just fight the lunatic cultist straight up? I'm going to do 10 of these right now. SHPC grind during the episode. But we're about to end off. Uh, let's do this. And let's go. Boop. Test out our new nuclear fury. Nude. This should be a nude clear fury. Oh my god, it's dropping my frame rate. That's how good that shit is. That shit's some good shit right there. Just gonna give all of our weapons a little uh, time to shine here. 
This does not do that good because if it does, if it's not really insta killing the destroyer, it's kind of whack. Mm. It's a fun weapon though. I do like it. Don't get me wrong there. It's just like I want some. Yeah, we need insta kill shit. We're at the point of insta killing things. Look, that can't even insta kill that. We should be at the point of insta killing a lot of things. Alright. Where you at? There you are. Ooh, that hurt. Just a little bit. Look at the look at the balls hovering around me. I'll figure out uh, an actual man accessory to put in there. But for now, uh, we'll just use what I'm using. Ancient light? Let's do ancient light. Same thing with this. This thing might be actually better single target though. Mm. I don't know, boys. I guess the lunar moth does have a lot of health. This is doing way better than the fire one. So I'll keep it for now. Because it has that little after effect too when it hits. Like it does that those little circles. Oh, I was going to show it off right there. Um, Let's use this. This hopefully does a lot of damage. It was kind of slow. But I bet if we get it like right inside. That shield will do a lot of damage. Yeah, there you go. Wait, no, that was the shields doing all the damage. I got it. I was like, hey, yeah, there you go. Oh my fuck. That, this. I'm not even touching it. The shield should do fucking work, though. Not shield. The spark should do work. Because that shit bounces. So bouncing on the destroyer's body, like, that's a lot of damage. Alright, there's not really much that I have to say about this. And this. I just stand right here, I'll probably live. That's the combo right there. The two OG summons right there. Terra Staff got laid to rest, but. You know, the other ones will live. A lot of those will live on. So this is probably going to be our best weapon that we currently have. Obviously, there's a lot of weapons we can make right now. But let's take it slow, because I actually do want to get a use on them. Like, I almost killed them before you even got over here. Oh, my God. This thing is home, too. Look, they go home all the way over there. He ain't even over there, and they go home on his ass. All right. Suck everything in. SHPC, look, we got it. Right there, look. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Post Martians? That's overpowered. We didn't get the fucking SHPC. So one more thing before I go here. I'm about to read the community made lore for David and Autismo. Let's do this. <clears throat> the gnome god Autismo IV was there before the moon lord. He called upon many adventures to spread his religion across the lands, but only one has been worthy. The orc. The orc goes by the name of David and has taken the title of being worthy. He must collect all the masks from the bosses that rule Terraria and display them to show all the other cults that the gnome cult is the strongest of them all. But other cults stand in his way, the guardian worshippers and the lunatic cultists and more. David has already taken down the guardian worshippers and have taken their territory. They landscaped the tainted lands and made it into an oasis where the gnome god now resides and where all of his followers live. The gnome god is protected by the council of gnomes, and in the middle of it all stands the soul of all gnome. To show his dominance towards the other gods, such as the slime god, David is given the task of killing them on a regular basis. Autismo IV also locks away the red slime god mass as an incentive for killing them. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Using his staff, he annihilates enemies of Autismo IV, as the oasis grows, so do enemies of Autismo the Fourth, revealing more powerful foes on every kill. The origin of Aut of Autismo is un fuck. Hold up, hold up, restart. The origin of Autismo is unknown. Some say that he died for our sins. Some say that he was given birth by Terraria himself. While his past is unknown, we still believe in the known God, and he's the one and true Savior. And he will not fall. He will always come on top. As he is a god, better than all gods, better than Terraria, more powerful than Moon Lord. Uh, he will live on forever. He he may disappear into the void and be forgotten, but he will live inside of the ultimate mage, David the Orc. Wait, what the fuck? He, he will live forever. He may disappear. <laughs> so like three fourths of this was written by like people on the Discord. I wrote like the first the first quarter. <laughs> I don't know what's going on.